guys, what's going on? It's me, Jen. Um, I think, like, those of you who are from Kearney or visit Kearney a lot can relate to this. Not as in bowls. Okay, go into that place. And I'll show you. Right here. Okay, that spot. All right. Mm. Every time that I go there, I see at least one group of narcissistic people. I don't care what age they are, whether and they always choose to stay. They don't just get their stuff and go like everyone else. They choose to stay because like, I guess they feel the need to um, either show off, stake claim to their territory in their mind. It's weird even though it's public domain. Um, <laughs> they're very strange people. Okay, like, mm. Or they just feel like sitting there and people watching, which means judging, being petty, polluting the mind even further. What else is new? Yeah, there are people watching. It's not the same as our people watching. You know what I'm saying? It's quite a, there's quite a difference between being petty and poisoning your mind and polluting your mind and um, simply observing and learning from people and experiences. But yeah, every time that I go to the Nottas and Bulls, there's always like one narcissistic person or two of them together or like a mini group of them and I swear it is so fucking annoying every damn time but I'm not here to rant I'm here to talk about what happened um before I had gotten there I there was a couple walking they were like dressed up you know trying to look like and act like they're rich and all this bullshit like narcissists tend to do <laughs> I saw that physically coming. Oi. Here I am in my band t-shirt, nine-inch nails, and my pajama bottoms. That's right. Because it's a Saturday. It's a lazy day. I got my messy bun going on. I don't give a shit. Okay. I'm relaxing today. I don't care what the fuck I look like. Oh, sorry. I'm in a mood. I'll be okay. Anyway, I'm going in, and I don't even realize that they're behind me, but I had ordered what I ordered, which was a large acai shake, or what they call a smoothie. Gotta get my large in, because I, oh, I really need to cleanse my system, dude. Mm-hmm. Okay. They have healthy things there, that's why I like to go. And I need that for my body. I don't need narcissistic people, but they're gonna happen anyway. One thing that I found very entertaining and auspicious at the same time. We're talking about a couple here, okay? The man, the woman, she smiles t at me, but like, I could tell it's fake. Like, oh, I'm just being fake nice because I kind of feel sorry for you. And I'm just like, I actually did one of those with my face. Like, I tried smiling, but my sarcasm came out. <laughs> Oops, I did that out loud. Oh well. And then I faced the lady. Because I was waiting for my shake. And I'm just standing there. And, uh, the husband or boyfriend or whatever inches over, but, like, kind of tries to keep his distance from me. Because he's like, oh god, this woman is filth. You know, he has that weird mindset. He's just a very fucked up individual. Um, <clears throat> and the, the lady that was helping him at the counter says, could you please come a little closer so I could hear you? I can't get your order. I don't know what you want. Um, <clears throat> and of course, they have to grab um, one of those uh, sparkling waters, you know, because they're so fancy and so rich. I'm just gonna grab a sparkling water. <laughs> okay, whatever. And out of the blue, I hear crash, like smash. 
it fell for whatever reason. I didn't see why it fell. I just knew that it fell for a reason. And all I could think to myself is, <clears throat> I know that I'm being watched over. I absolutely am. Because every single time that somebody judges me or misjudges me and mischaracterizes me as being trash for being human, somehow they get a karmic slap in the fucking face and a kick in the ass every time they do it. Like, I'm not kidding when I say that my deities and my ancestors are very sensitive about me. Okay? They're all about guarding and protecting me and making sure that I'm okay. But they also make sure to teach a lesson to those who talk the most shit. Every time, without fail. It's been like that since I was a kid. Because so many people would give me such hell growing up. And I've been protected like that the whole time. I'm still protected like that and I will be for the rest of my life. Like, no one is going to fuck with me and not get away with it. Even if it's something simple and tiny and petty. My deities and ancestors see their soul. If I cannot, they do. And this is why my faith is so strong. <laughs> I'm always protected. But yeah, if ever any of you guys have went to Nadas and Bulls, You'll know what I'm talking about when it comes to the narcissistic people that are there. They act like they're all rich and snooty. And like they're better than you. They're very sad people. And they choose that fucking place to stay in. That's why everybody else gets their shit and leaves. Like, I ain't fucking with these idiots. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I'm resting today. Love you guys. Um, that's my update. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> Blessed be.